I think you should uh, say what we're doing for uh Okay. All right. Welcome to another episode. Uh, as you've seen from the intro, we're uh, having a little bit of a friendly competition here. Uh, this, the rules are as follows. Whoever catches the first, the most, or the biggest. Those are the categories. So whoever gets the most in those categories wins the uh, friendly tournament. Now the prize is yet to be determined. Likely probably going to be something like a uh, trophy, maybe. Maybe we'll come up with a trophy of some kind. Uh, haven't done it yet, but uh, this is the first time we're doing this. And um, we're currently at West Shoal Lake and we're trying to get on some Big Mama. Do we want to say Big Mama? Or do we want to say Jumbo Football? Football? Pie plate? Pie <laughs> barn door? Barn door. What is the... What is the appropriate term for yellow perch? Big Com yellow perch. Comment in the bottom. Hmm. Big mamas. Big mama perch. What else? Alien? UFO? Blimp? Blimp? Blimp, blimp. blimp perch? Blimp, blimp for perch. some blimps. We'll start it. We'll we want some blimps. Blimp. We'll start it trending. That's a blimp. <laughs> blimp perch. Oh. Hopefully we get on them. And if we do, we've got somebody to thank. And if we don't, we got somebody to beat up. Regardless, you're getting beat up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unfortunately, we chose like the coldest day of the year to come out and try this. <laughs> so that, yeah, I don't think it affects the fish personally because the water, the uh, the temperature of the water is always going to be roughly around the same. So mm -hmm. they don't know it's cold up here. We know it's cold up here. It currently is overcast with. 20 kilometer winds. You got your hose in there? So we've had we have a hose already. So we might catch the first. <laughs> but then we need uh, no, then we need the most. We could also just if we just get on fish and nobody else catches. I think he left and went to you. Griff has got one. Ah, oh, he we lost it. We both lost both of our fishes. No, I have no witness. Fish? Yeah. See, it came in underneath. Bit it. Is it still there on it? Looks like it. But it's not kind of bobbing or nothing. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Was it twitch? Yo. I don't like I hate setting the hook on that with it like that. Oh no, thank you off. Corey's on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's on. Oh yeah. It's yeah. On. It's a big one. It's a big mama. I'm gonna put this down. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is probably the one that you were after, or was on you. More likely. I got it. I'm seeing something down there. Ow, ow. 
13. 13. Yeah. There we go. God. Swimming back to the deep. Oh, new species. That feels good. Hey, Whoa. I'm trying. Oh, that scared me. Oh. Ah, it's not there. Oh, oh, oh. This is hard to do inside here. Mm -hmm. There, I think I'll uh, wait. Yeah. Jack. You got Jack. Well, you definitely got the longest, yeah. No, he's just a little guy. Grab let's see. He said he wasn't there. Well, he sure didn't fight. Oh, 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 this is a small snod rocket. What do you need? Pliers? I just want to close the tent. It's getting cold in our tent. It's not too more than cold. Well, let's see your forward here. Oh, man. Yeah, you got the longest. It's 15. Yeah, you got the longest. It's 15 inch pipe. I didn't know they made them that small. Nope. How big? It's like 12. No, it's 13. see something but it's like in the distance for what my range is oh there we go oh it's another big one good for you i'm gonna take your phone i don't know how to Take a look at this, another one. I don't know how to work here. I don't know. 12 and three quarter. Masters 13? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you want mine? Um, oh, I thought I saw something there. Do you know what fishing is, eh? Mm -hmm. What? Did you say you know what fishing is? Lighting? It's a jerk on one end of the line waiting for a jerk on the other end of the line. Oh. I just had a tick. I just had a tick. That was like a tug. Like a little brap brap. Oh, that one smells good. Oh. That little tick, why would is my middle gone? Is that something there? Dad. What? Yeah, please. What do you need? I can't find myself again. I'm not finding you. Come on. It'll go. Why isn't it? I know it's cool. Come on. 
Does he have a glow plug on it? Yeah. Let me send the glow plug a little more. I don't know. He's in the camera. <laughs> It's really cold. Do you need me to turn around? Sounds like it's so it wants to fire. Yeah, it's just so cold that it's No. You might need to go on. Okay. Okay, hold on to that. I got yep. cables in there, right? Yep. I'm coming. I'll turn my truck around. I got cables. like a oil on the snow and then and then it melts and then it smells good. Now I have to go call them in the rain. Mm -hmm. Diesels need a lot of battery to start. Gotta charge it up. Hey Corey. What's up? You might want to just give it some throttle for a bit to charge the battery. It does make a little bit of a difference if you're ever charging a vehicle from one to another, just to give it a little bit of throttle, and it charges more. Mm. Hello, Boja. Cheers. To the victor goes the spoils. <laughs> Uh, so as you guys seen, uh, Ryan and I, we ended up winning. You caught two masters. Two masters. And I had three. Two. Four. I caught two masters and four, four other fish. And then my dad only caught the one pike and Aurora let the whole team, I'm kidding, she tried hard. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an easy fish, that's no. for sure. But, uh, I think, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, what you just seen there with the truck not starting and how we kind of got out of that. Um, it is a very dangerous thing. It was about minus 38 with the wind chill and as it was getting dark it was getting colder. So the wind was blowing pretty hard too. It didn't really pick up. It was pretty much steady the whole day I think. But Yeah, I think, it, I think the wind died down a little bit in the evening but 
And definitely the temperature seemed to drop. Um, so what we ended up doing in order to get the truck going, we tried putting a heater underneath uh, the motor. That didn't do anything. No. My dad had a different set of cables in mind. They seemed to work a little bit better on the battery, but it still did not get that truck going. Um, what we ended up doing was, my, my dad has a friend who lives in Portage, which is about an hour away. So we called him up and he had a generator. So my dad has two uh, block heaters inside of his truck. And we ended up using the generator in order to make electricity to uh, get the glow plugs. It took about an hour and it just fired right up first try. Yeah. But not everybody's in that situation. And <laughs> I wanted to talk about how stupid that was. Well, as he left with the only working vehicle left with three of us left on the on the ice with him taking the only working vehicle leaving the three of us on the ice with no vehicle and temperatures dropping and what else could happen it kind of did give a bit of a uneasy feeling at least for me i wasn't too worried but it was we were like the only ones on the ice and no vehicle. Um, I thought it was important. We'd never been to that lake before, so I thought it was important for us to take two vehicles to begin with. So say somebody gets stuck. There was no snow on the ice. There was some drips, but it wasn't that bad. But new lake, be as prepared as you can for it. But um, that was definitely, we could have started the truck a little bit sooner. We let it sit for what, that four hours? Five? Oh yeah. I mean, he parked it as soon as we got there at what time? What, eight? I think right. we got to the spot. And he didn't start it until four. That was two. Well, anyways, whatever. That's still too long to go for a diesel. So make sure you guys put timers on your phone to remind you for that one. Especially when it's cold out. That would help. <laughs> <laughs> Just so invested inside the uh, tournament trying to win, hey? <laughs> So, um, what I think we should have done was all of us should have just probably left the gear there and went into the truck all together. That way, or we should have maybe even packed everything up and then left with the one working truck. We, and then could have gone back and just sat there and waited afterwards. And then could have had everyone kind of sitting at safety. Or we could have, like if things were really bad in yours, like it was getting cold and we could just fit into one, one tent. That would have probably just kept it everybody warm. We had 50 pounds worth of propane, so we probably weren't going to run out, but propane freezes at 20 degrees Celsius, minus 20. So, and it was well beyond that, but mm -hmm. that's kind of with the wind chill. What was it, minus 28? So it was about 10 degrees more with the wind chill. It was cold. I think we did a better job of managing the cold when we did that overnight on Pelican because I was even with the gas going out starting the truck and letting it run for about well, a half hour. We took the battery out and put it in the shack overnight. Yeah we did that too. So that was minus 45 and then we burnt through all of the wood. <laughs> we need to just stop going out when it's so cold. Uh, that's, you want to talk about ice safety that's just... <laughs> mm. Well the weekend warrior can only can't choose the weather. <sighs> <laughs> it just means you just stay at home and start fishing for goldfish in your tank and <laughs> <laughs> so anyways we hope you guys are being safe and having a good season thanks for watching this episode uh, I felt like it was important to discuss the uh, the on ice safety especially when conditions are extreme <laughs>